but obviously I won't change it right away, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll change it the back. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the laptop is back and you know what's coming down. Yeah. For those people who don't know, well, the moment you see a laptop, we know that and another anonymous story is coming. This is where people share their stories with me anonymously, people who want to say something out there, but they're not really able to say it because they're afraid of maybe judgment. Well, I made them write to me anonymously. People share their stories to me via a link that is down in the description. The link allows you to just enter your story. You don't need to enter any information or nothing. Just if you just click on the link, you're just gonna find the whole page. You just write no names, no numbers, no identification, just a story, and you send it to me. This is a really anonymous form. If you want to check on my previous anonymous, check on my channel. There's anonymous one, two, three, and there's the fourth one. That's what we do here on Mr. MB. It's just Mr. MB. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel, come on, just click on the button and give me a big thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Support a fellow Zimbabwean. I am here with a special guest. Chazelle. So she's also got a YouTube channel that she does anything feminine. I am a beautician, not by profession, but just experience. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a hobby. I do makeup, I do nails, and I just talk about anything feminine just to help our female ladies out there. So even how to keep your welcome to my channel, Mr. MB. So, Giselle, are you ready? Hello, Mr. MB. Hello. Oh, my last guest complained that Anonymous is just greeting Mr. MB, but it's a greeting the guest, yeah. yeah. So, on behalf of you, Anonymous, I'm going to say, Hello, Giselle. Uh, hello, 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 <laughs> hello. <laughs> I'm anonymous because I'm a 21 years old girl from Zimbabwe. Oh, Zimbabwe. Well, I can say I've always known I am attracted to the same gender since my primary level. However, I try to suppress it and focus on religion to maybe change myself. Coming from a traditional and religious family, that seemed to be the only option. I was convinced it was a demon from the teachings and I had even hated anyone who seemed gay around me because it reminded me of continuous failed attempts to change myself. You know, I've I heard people say that this kind of situation, it's a choice. Some people say that, but I beg to differ. Well, at first I, I thought the same with everyone else, obviously, but like, um, because I just grew to understand some people, even though me myself, please do not bash me. <laughs> it's my own opinion. I am very much homophobic, but like I have come to terms with everything and I've um, accepted that like the world is a really strange place and I do accept people and them being different doesn't mean that they're strange. It just means that they're special in their own way. So in this case, this girl she says that she's really trying so hard like she's she's really trying but like her mind is telling her like nah exactly that's why i say like i hear people say that this is a choice i don't think when it comes to attraction to someone in my own opinion it's something like a choice that's why you have a crush yeah you yeah, a crush on yeah. somebody don't love it all but mm. that's what your heart is doing to you bro or girl so there's nothing you can do about it right yeah. so the same way that you crush on a person of the opposite gender, that's the same way this girl crushes on a person of the same gender. So I don't think that could be a choice. Yeah, it's, I, I feel like for some people it is a choice. How do you feel like that is a choice? Because, no, for some people, for her, I feel like it's not a choice. It's it's like that statement um, in Shana, they say Moyomuti, right? In English that? now, for translation, the heart is like a tree, like it grows anyway, it wants to grow. So like you can't, you can't bash her or like be the, the same gender. Same I dated guys for a while, hoping I could be as normal as other people. Finally, I couldn't hold myself together when I met this other girl in my second year in college. And being with her was everything I never felt before. I was like, wow, this is what I've been missing this entire time. <laughs> okay. 
okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Woo. I mean, like, this is kind of self explanatory, you see, like, this could be a choice, you know, like, yeah, yeah. It, she's really tried so much to, to be something that is considered as normal by the society, by the community. But with all that effort, somebody can just say it's still a choice. I feel like it's unfair, honestly. Yeah, in my own opinion too, I feel like it's unfair. I've, I've heard about countries that actually beat those kind of people, attack yes, them, you yes. know, those stuff. Do you think it's a good thing to do? Like, No. I feel like everyone is entitled to their own um, opinion, to their own choices. So let me ask you this. Yeah. So, you're going to be married, right? What would you do if your daughter or your son was like that? Would you accept it? Ooh! Honestly, if you had asked me the same question like maybe in 2018 or maybe last year, okay. trust me, I would have said I would have taken the child to an exorcist <laughs> and removed that demon. Okay, now as but, like, 20, yeah. This is now 2020 and um, as we all know, we're in quarantine, I've had a lot of time to think about it, right? You've been thinking about this? Yeah, we, I talked about it with my roommate oh. and some other friends of mine. So it's like a normal I, discussion? Yeah, right? it was a normal discussion, so okay. I, I just thought of it, I'm like, but the people who are born genetically not functioning the same way we are functioning, you okay. know? So, if my child uh -huh. is to be different, uh -huh. I would ask them why they came to to such a point or how they came to such a point and I would ask them like have they tried dating other genders or is it's just uh, an impulse thing to just say oh I want someone of the same sex you know like, I would accept them eventually but like I would want to understand where it's coming from it would be hard, I don't want to lie. It would be hard, but like, I, it's my child. I have to, yeah, I have to, uh, yeah, I have to support my child. I have to be with them. Obviously, I'll pray to God. <laughs> <laughs> if it was me in the same situation, I think I would also really want to believe that I would just, the way I understand it is the way I'm also studying medicine. I get to understand that these are things that are much more mental mm -hmm. rather than choice, you know. Like, the same way you say, you like this girl, the way you feel about liking this girl. That's exactly the same way they feel about liking person of the same gender. That like if somebody takes that away from you and you also get stressed. The same way somebody is stressed when they don't have their part of the opposite sex. She must have a backstory on of like how it all started. Did she just look at someone and say, mm, okay. Like what's the backstory on your first love? <laughs> well, um, I, for me it was, it was just, I, I, it was love at first sight, like I, I, I don't know, it, it just happened. I was also kind of she also had the same yeah. thing, like love I at first sight with, their, with her first love. But the difference that in your case there was a guy and in the yeah, case yeah, was okay. a girl. So, I don't know, I feel like it's, it's a, it's, it's genetic, I don't know. Genetic. Uh, it must be. I lost friends along the way, gained new ones, and to the ones that stuck around, I appreciate. Because yeah, you like to have some people kind of stick to you, some people like, Ooh, I'm a friend yeah. here. But I understand, like, just, <laughs> just like your best yeah. friend, like your best friend, you with your best friend. And then recently, you just discovered that she is. It's kind like of creepy. You start thinking, like, oh my god, what about all this time she was having? Yeah. Like, was she thinking the same thing, you know? It's, it's, so, so, like, it's, with the way you understand these people, that happens to best friend, would you stay or you would actually draw, or draw yourself away from her? Honestly, this is why I don't have best friend. And secondly, um, I feel like if it was a friend, I don't think her loving someone else or being attracted to um, a gender that is the same as hers, I don't feel like that's a deal breaker as a friend because she's not asking me out. It might feel awkward, like maybe the first few days, months, weeks, or whatever, but I feel like if they're truly your friend, if she was truly my friend, I would just accept my friend. Yes. 
But obviously I won't change it right after, you know? <laughs> I'll change it the back. <laughs> after a year, I finally accepted myself for who I am and I've never felt better or more confident with who I am. It's bringing such a story back home. It's a taboo. Like, you, yeah, you sort of can't taboo. even start. You, you really can't even start. I think this is much more like an African thing, you know? Yeah. Like, they're not really open minded. Accept, mm -hmm. uh, open minded is not an option in an African guess. She feels comfortable. She, she, she might feel comfortable, but you may not be able to say it outside. That's the thing, because she is in a country where they don't allow it. I feel like right now with South Africa, I feel like it's better. South Africa? Yes, because people can be comfortable in their own skin. Even though some of us you think it's wrong, but like, I feel like if you want to be a certain person, you're, you're not deprived just because of the society's beliefs or just being in Zimbabwe is just, I'm, I'm sure it's quite tough for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Seeing other couples in other LGBTQT. No, no, no. LGBTQ. I didn't know what this word means at first when, when I heard this word. Then I had to go on the internet to search what is LGBTQ. It means lesbian, gay, to be, I don't know what it means. Transgender. And Q means cure. Q -U -E -R. I don't know about E E R. I don't know. I, know I think that this is fluid. I don't know. If you know what this is, just tell me in the comment section. Seeing other LGBTQT content on YouTube really helped me along the way. So I would say, wherever you are, there is nothing wrong with who you are. You don't need fixing or changing. Accepting yourself will be the best thing to do. An anonymous false story. And if you were in this kind of situation, what would you have done? Like if I was her. Yeah, I mean, like considering the way the country is, the parents, the religion, and the society, the community, and all those stuff, what would you have done? Well, in my case, if I was to be lesbian, I will probably be comfortable with my aunts because my aunts are like really like open-minded, okay, they really okay. don't care, they would just take me as I am, but like, when I think of my dad and my mom, it's, it's a non starter it's just to keep quiet for the rest of my life. Do you think it's okay for you to just keep this to yourself or would it be better if you share with the parents? Because I feel like this is kind of depressing since she was in primary school. Primary school means grade 1, grade 2, you're around 10 years old. And she finally accepted it when she was in college. So think about all those years. Yeah. You finish primary school, you finish secondary school. That's about maybe 10 years, I can say, of education. Still trying to suppress it, still trying to be a new person. And then finally in college, that's when she accepted it. So all these years, there is a chance that there may be some sort of um, emotional and mental da damage. So like, do you think it would be a better thing to just show this, I mean, tell this to your parents, that even though they're kind of hot, you know, like, <laughs> I know it's not easy. Even if they're hurt, at the end of the day, it's your life. I would probably mount up the guts to go tell them. Okay. If they refuse, then now that's their own funeral. But like, as long as you are staying true to yourself and you're not binding yourself in chains just because of how your parents will view you, it would be hard. It would be hard. <laughs> be hard. So like, you mean to your parents, they might be cool with it. Mm -hmm. But then the, now the community, I think you've heard of what other countries, I don't know, like if you're gay, they can even burn you, they can beat you, you know, those stuff. How would you deal with that? Honestly, dealing with that is it's quite broad, because like if they want to kill you, then you don't have time to deal with it. But like, if, <laughs> um, if you're still Christian, then you can still pray to God, continue being God's child, regardless of her gender preference. Her being gay, it's a sin, of course, in the Bible. But like, we lie, we steal, we do all these things, we commit adultery. You commit adultery? No, as in, I'm just, as oh, okay. in, we do all these um, bad things, but still, God loves us. At the end of the day, um, you running away from God, it's, it won't help you. So, whilst you're accepting yourself, also believe that God has also accepted you. Like for real, like I really understand her story, and it might be something really tough for the society to accept. But I think I have a message out there. 
And this is not their fault. It's just what, it's just what they are. So, in the societies out there that do something really uh, bad or to these people, I do have a message. I mean, just take some time to think about these people. I don't think it's right for you to attack them or to shame them or to even beat them or harass them in a way just because of what they are. If you read, if you really think about it, like this is how they are made. You get it? And you never know, you may be in the same situation one day. It's very possible. You get it? I really hope that the society out there could actually at least welcome them in a way and try to find a solution if there is. You get it? If there is a solution. I mean like maybe say those people who are in this kind of category, they are more loyal to their partners than us who are having new <laughs> relationships, you get it? So if you're talking about digital of love, they may have more love than what you got. The you the normal one is attacking her. Yeah. Just think about it, like just think about it. Like, the way you're loving your wife, the way you're loving your husband, the way you're crushing for someone. Is it something that you decide like I'm deciding to crush on my husband? I'm deciding to to, 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 like, to love someone. If you just don't love the person, there's no spark. But this will happen. Yeah. You're going to belong to yourself and nothing's going to happen. Yeah. The same thing with this girl or with people with this category. They have a chance to be understood in society and not just to bash them, to attack yeah. them. Because you never know. Maybe one day your child is going to be like us. True. And it always child. happens. And it, it always, always happens. happens. <laughs> you know, it always <laughs> happens. And for this girl, we should actually like, uh, encourage her to maybe be open with other people, like when she meets people, be like, oh, I'm a gay person, or you actually think she should just keep it low, like, not to say anything. Not really, like, I feel like that's creepy. It's, even as straight people, we don't go to people saying, oh, hey, I'm straight, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> just be yourself. If they ask you, yeah, of course, I'm homosexual, then we move on with our lives, you know? I feel like this topic is kind of... It's, it's hard not to offend someone. Yeah. It's, it's really hard. But Depending on the relationship with your parents, I always feel like it's even better to share with the parents, you know, even though they hate it. But at least they know that's what you are. Now, whatever happens, at least they know, you know, some friends are going to leave you, definitely. And some people are not going to judge you at all. Like, someone like me, I do understand the person in the situation. I have nothing against those people big time. Totally cool. You just have to expect anything to happen. And in African society right now, I don't really think it's a safe thing to go out there and tell people that that's how you are. Yeah, because you never know how they're gonna react. Thank you very much for stay for sharing your story, Anonymous Fall. Stay tuned for the next story of Anonymous Fat. It's already ready, it's cooking right now. <laughs> if you wanna hear more of the stories, guys, subscribe to Mr. MB's channel. It's just a YouTube channel for the just beauty and not beauty, just it's a beauty channel. It's just down there in the link in the description in my description below. Check it out and you all gotta subscribe to her channel as well. She's doing some great stuff. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, this must the end of this video. Peace out. Do you wanna give it? Do you wanna break here to them? <laughs>